Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to create thread milling toolpaths using a 2D design file in Makera Cam. Now what thread milling allows you to do is it actually allows you to use your desktop CNC machine like the Carvera and Carvera Air to mill threads within a hole that's already been tapped in a part that you're manufacturing on your desktop CNC, which of course then lets you thread in different screws and fasteners depending on the size threads that you machine into your part. So here you can see I have a two-dimensional design file, and that means that we can use our 2D toolpaths to create threads with this 2D file. But you can of course also create threads based upon a 3D design file, which we look at in another one of our tutorial videos. The first step to creating threaded holes is to actually drill the holes in your design. And you need to know both the size thread that you want to create, as well as the size hole that's required for your thread milling bit. If you visit the tool library, and if you go over to the thread section and select the size thread bit that you want to use, for example, I would like to create M3 threads for an M3 screw, I can look at the cutting parameters for this tool and see that the hole diameter needed for this thread bit is 2.5 millimeters. So that means I must first drill a 2.5 millimeter hole if I wish to use this M3 thread. In addition to seeing this based upon the existing parameters for all the thread milling bits that we provide, you can also visit our wiki site and under the speeds and feeds page, we have this information provided for you there as well, as well as with the thread milling bits in the Makera store. So I'm going to select the holes within my design and I'm first going to create a 2D drilling operation where I'm gonna to drill to the desired depth, which is gonna be five millimeters based upon the design that I'm creating. And I'm going to select the correct size tool, which in this case would be a 2.5 millimeter drill set to cutting parameters for plastic based on the material that I'm working with. If you want, you can change your tool number based upon the design that you're doing. And of course, we talk more about drilling operations specifically in another one of our tutorials. With the drilling operation created, I can now go about creating the thread operations. So I'm going to hide this drilling toolpath and select the holes that I want to create again then create a 2D thread milling operation. Here you'll see that we have very similar settings, but slightly different for creating thread milling operations than what we do for our hole operations. You can of course set the start and end depth again. With the end depth, you can choose to thread all the way to the bottom of the hole, or you can choose to stop slightly above the hole, depending on the requirements of your design. If you need to adjust your clearance height and your retraction height, if you're working around any clamps and fixtures, you can do so. And then you have the thread type options. If you're creating a thread within a hole, that is an internal thread. If you're creating thread around an object, like for example, threading around a shaft that's already been machined, that would be an external thread. You can choose whether it's a le left-handed or right-handed thread. Choose if you're going to repeat the thread or do a multi-layer thread design. And then you can choose the thread milling bit specific to the size thread that you're creating. So in this case, I wanna create an M3 size thread because I'm using M3 screws. So I'll select that with the correct cutting parameters based upon the material that I'm creating. I'm then gonna assign my thread milling bit to be a different tool number than my drill bit, and that might correspond to the automatic tool changer in your Carvera if you, this tool is gonna to be selected automatically. And a key parameter that you always wanna check is the thread pitch. The thread pitch will be determined based upon the screw size that you're putting in. So for M3 threads, that uses a thread pitch of 0.5. And again, this is something that is set and we chat about on our wiki site and within our cutting parameters for these specific tools. Once you have your parameters set, you can calculate and you'll see that we have our threaded toolpath drawn within these holes. And that's all there is to it for creating threads within a 2D design. You first need to determine the size threads that you wanna create, then drill the correct size hole for that thread milling bit to fit within, then ensure that your thread parameters are correct based upon the types of screws and hardware that you're gonna use within your designs, and then use your desktop CNC to machine these threads within the holes that have been pre-drilled. Again, this is very similar to creating thread milling toolpaths with a 3D part file, and you can learn more about that in another one of our tutorial videos. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more on the Makera channel and wiki site.